to my channel, so today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look right here. I had a lot of fun creating this look. I wanted to use the brand new Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette because I am obsessed with this. I don't think I've ever been so excited for a palette in a very long time because these colors just scream beautiful right here. If you are a warm toned person, you are going to love this. Her shadows are so buttery and creamy and pigmented as you'll see in the video. They just blend out like a dream and it was so easy to create this cut crease look. I'm kind of new at creating cut creases and this was my first time trying to play around with it, but I think it turned out really well. So if you want to see how to create this look with the brand new Modern Renaissance palette, then just keep on watching. Alright, to start with this look, I'm using my MAC Painlight Paint Pot to prime my eyes. As you can see, I'm starting from the top of my brow bone all the way down to my lash line, just priming my entire lid to kind of cancel out any discoloration in veins that I have. I love this if you have oily eyelids. I have very, very oily eyelids, and this makes my makeup last all day long. I'm also going to be applying some tape to kind of create a nice cut look because that is what we're going for today. To make sure our shadows blend out really nicely, I'm just going to be taking the lightest shade in my contour palette from Morphe with a really fluffy shader brush. And I'm just applying that on top of the primer so everything blends out really nicely. I'm moving on to eyeshadow. I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. I'm going with the color Raw Sienna on a Morphe M441 brush. All these shadows are super pigmented, so I'm going in with a really light hand on that really fluffy brush and just kind of placing that in my crease. As you can see, just fluffing it out really nicely in circular motions. So the next color I'm going in with is the color Real Gar. It's a beautiful burnt orange color. I'm taking that on a Morphe M513 brush and just kind of diffusing that in my crease and placing it a little bit lower than the Raw Sienna shade but still buffing it upwards so we have a really nice transition. Next I'm taking the color Red Ochre on a Morphe M443 brush and placing this on the outer V but then buffing it upwards and a little bit into my crease and it's going to create a really beautiful diffuse look. You don't have to be super neat with this part, I was a little bit messy. I just want to mainly focus this color on the outer V and blend it inwards. We are going to be cutting out our crease with a paint pot again so don't worry about the preciseness of it but just make sure it's in that outer V. So next again I'm going with my MAC Paint Only Paint Pot, the same thing I used to prime my eyes. I'm actually taking taking an Anastasia concealer brush, this is her brush in the number 18, and is carving out my crease. This is the easiest way that I found to do a cut crease instead of really precisely putting on those shadows. It's so much easier to just kind of carve out where you want it. You don't have to use this particular brush or a cream product to cut out your crease. You can use an angled brush or a cream eyeshadow. I just found a flat shader brush to be really, really easy, especially make sure it's synthetic as well. So as I was cutting out my crease, I realized I kind of wanted to wing it out a little bit so it's really nice and neat. So as you can see, I'm kind of bringing it out to my wing and that tape is really nice and creating a really nice barrier for the color not to go super far out. And now I'm putting on the color Temptra with a flat shader brush from Wet n Wild and just really packing on that color. It's a beautiful cream color with a little bit of shimmer in it. So after carving out my crease and adding the lid shade, I wasn't super satisfied with how deep it was, so I went back in with my Morphe M433 brush and the color Red Ochre, and I applied that right in the crease for some added definition. To take it even one step further, I'm going to be going with the color Cypress Umber on a Too Faced liner brush. This is just like a really sharp, kind of pointy pencil brush. And I'm going in and really tracing that line and that color right above the crease where we cut it out. This is just going to really give a lot of added definition and I really like it. I also blended it out with a Morphe M433 brush, the one we kind of used to deepen the red ochre shade and just make sure everything is blended out evenly. So for liner today, I'm just taking my favorite NYX Cosmetics Matte Black Liquid Liner and I'm applying a wing. Again, I love using the tape for this because it's really easy. I don't have to be super precise and it creates a nice clean line, which I really like because it takes me forever to do my eyeliner. It may not look like that, but it takes me like 15, 20 minutes to make it perfect. <laughs> To 
to prep my lashes for falsies, I'm just going to be playing a light coat of my Maybelline Push Up Drama Mascara. This is my favorite from the drugstore at the moment. I absolutely love it. And while I'm waiting for my falsy glue to dry, I'm going to be taking some time and showing you guys how I do my brows. I'm showing you my left brow first, and then I'm just going to speed up through my right brow because it takes me forever. So I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. I've talked about this a lot. I think I use the shade Brunette, and I absolutely love this product. It reminds me a lot of the Anastasia Brow Wiz. It's just not as expensive. So I'm just going to be lightly feathering and carving out my brows and then I like to do like an ombre look with my eyebrows so it's not super harsh. I used to do the Instagram brow and I do not like it on me anymore so this is what I do. If you guys want to see a really in-depth updated routine let me know and I can definitely do that for you all. So for lashes today, I'm applying my Holy Grail favorites, the Coco Goddess lashes. You guys already know they are just stunning. Now moving on to the face, I'm taking an oldie but a goodie Benefit Professional Primer. I haven't used this in forever and I decided to pull it out again. I'm just going to be patting that into my skin, especially the places I have the large pores. So on my nose, on my cheeks, and a little bit on my T-zone. For foundation today, I'm using the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. I have been absolutely obsessed with this. A little bit goes a long way. It looks like I'm using a lot right now, but I like putting it on the back of my hand first to kind of warm up the product and then apply it with my finger so I don't apply too much. I use only about one to two little drops on my hands, on the back of my hand, and then I apply it on again with my fingers and blend it out with my Morphe E6 brush. This is the best foundation brush I've ever used. I really want to get back into the Beauty Blender. I'm going to try. I never really liked it, but I want to try it with this foundation because I think it would look absolutely stunning. So for my concealer cocktail today, I decided I wanted to use a couple different concealers for different purposes. So the first one I'm using is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is the color correcting fluid. And I'm using it in the color peach to cover up all my dark circles. And then I'm going to be going in with the NARS Cosmetics Radiant Creamy Concealer. I recently pulled this out again and I have been loving it. Also, this is in the color vanilla. It has a little bit of a pinky undertone, which I don't mind. But again, I like to go in with more of a kind of brightening look. So I'm going in with the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighting Pen in the color light boost this is a very yellow to neutral highlighting color and I love it to really neutralize that pink in the concealer so I'm applying that under my eyes and then on the high points of my face to bring a little bit more light to my face To make sure my concealer doesn't crease, I'm taking a Real Techniques brush and my Laura Mercier translucent powder and just patting that underneath my eyes. I'm not baking or anything, but I'm applying a pretty heavy amount and then just kind of swiping away the extra product so my concealer goes absolutely nowhere. And then because I'm super oily, I have to set the rest of my face, so I'm taking the Makeup Forever Duo Matte Powder in the color 202 with my Real Techniques Big Powder Brush. And I'm just going to be patting that all over my face so I get the most coverage. To contour today, I wanted to try something a little bit different. I'm using my Morphe Brushes Contour Palette with the two shades shown there. And I'm using my e.l.f. kind of like angled blush brush, I think it's called. Um, I like using it for contour because I think it just creates the perfect contour and it fits right in the hollows of my cheekbones. And I love these colors because they're not super cool. There's a couple colors in this palette that are very, very cool toned, which would look perfect for people with pink undertones. But because I have more of a golden undertone, they look very, very cool. So I'm using the ones that have the warmer undertone, which look beautiful on my skin. And then for some added warmth, I'm going back in with my Hourglass Radiant Bronze Light with my e.l.f. Kabuki brush and applying that to the outer perimeter of my face. For blush today, this is probably no surprise, but I wanted to use the Lorac Buildable Blush in the color Cinematic again, just because I think it's the perfect color for this look. It's like a really rusty kind of mommy color. I think it looks perfectly for this eye look. And for my highlight, I had to use the new Anastasia Sun Dipped Glow Kit. I mean, come on. I'm using the color Summer and Moonstone, and what I love about these powders is just, I feel like they just melt into the skin. They don't even look like you have a bunch of shimmer on top of your cheekbone. They literally just melt in the skin and look so natural, but it's just so highlighted I absolutely love it you can see me from space and you know that's exactly what I'm looking for to finish off the shadow for our eyes I'm just gonna be going in with the morphe 
M432 brush. It's just like a really flat shader brush. I'm taking the color Raw Sienna and applying that on the outer two thirds of my eye. And then I'm gonna go back in with the color Real Gar and apply that on the outer third of my eye. And then last but not least, I'm just gonna be blending all that out and then taking the color Cypress Umber, which is the darkest color that we applied on our outer corner. And I'm applying that like in the outer fourth of my eye. I just really wanna make sure that it's not too dark for my eyes because my eyes are really big. I don't want them to look any smaller. So I really like this technique. Um, it's what I do for all of my eye looks. So that's probably why they all look the same. And then I'm also using the MAC Cosmetics Chromographic Pencil in the color NC. 15 and w20 i think that's what it's called it's just like a really nice nude color and i love doing this too because the black is way too harsh for me and i love the way this makes my eyes look and then for my inner corner of my eye i'm applying the color vermeer with the morphe m431 brush this is just like a really nice pencil brush and applying that right there i love the way my eyes look with a really bright inner corner i just think it really makes your eyes look really wide and awake and it's just exactly what i'm looking for and then i'm applying my matte giga black lash mascara and then i'm also going to be doing a beautiful nude lip so the lip liner i'm using is by milani it's called nude it's in the color nude it's one of their lip liners and i just absolutely love the formula so creamy so buttery they glide on the lips and they last a very very long time so i am absolutely obsessed with these the color 03 and 04 are my absolute favorites if you haven't tried them out and then for my lips today i'm just going to be going in with the buxom true nude lip foundation in the color nude i actually really like this it was a bit drying but it's a beautiful color and then i'm going to set the rest of my face makeup and you are all done all right, so that's it for this look. I hope you all really, really enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. I love you all and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.